I'm Sarah. Welcome to my channel. Um, I'm sorry if my lighting is a little weird. I'm really <laughs> close to the camera because the sun is shining and it's just making it really white in here. So um, just bear with me. But I wasn't sure that I was going to make this video or share the clips that I'm going to share for a couple of reasons. One being that I don't really know what exactly happened and two being that I am kind of embarrassed by it. Let me backtrack and kind of explain what exactly happened. This cycle, my husband and I still tried, but we knew that when my period came that I was going to go get a baseline ultrasound and we were going to start our testing um, that you do prior to doing a medicated cycle. When I had ovulated, uh, I was waiting for my normal period symptoms to show up because between three and five days past ovulation is when my boobs start to hurt really bad, like really, really bad, and it lasts all the way till my period. And the only other time that that hasn't happened is the last time that I had false positive tests. Basically, the days were going by, my period symptoms weren't showing up, and I was just cramping a lot, which I normally don't cramp until the day before my period and then like during my period. So I started testing really early on, like seven days past ovulation or something, I don't know. I was just curious and I've seen people get positives that early. So I started testing really early and then at 12 days past ovulation, I started feeling really bad like I just wasn't feeling good like, my cramps just got really really bad and all of a sudden they went away and then two days later at that point I had already kind of assumed that like that's my period was gonna come I thought you know I was 12 days past ovulation all my tests have been negative that's my period cramps so the next day I tested and it was negative the next day my period was due and it wasn't there and so I tested again and I saw a very, very, very faint line on a first response early result test. The reason why I say I feel embarrassed is because if you are have been following me or you're subscribed to me, you know that I've had a false positive pregnancy test before, I think. <laughs> but those tests were the brand Equate and their blue dye and those particular tests, they're known for having a faint line like no matter what and so um that particular time i was a little bit more skeptical that i was pregnant but this time on a first response i saw a faint line i have never seen a faint line on a first response it's always been like one line and then the rest of it was just stark white and so when i saw that faint line it just i was like this is it like we were about to do fertility treatments and God is blessing us before then. And I just started feeling so thankful. And um, I just, I really thought that that was it. After I had taken the test and gotten excited, I went through Walmart and I like picked up a onesie and some pacifiers put in a bag for Anthony and I was gonna surprise him. And I was just really excited. I'm. Gonna, I recorded my reaction, I recorded everything because I thought that I was pregnant and I wanted to share that with you guys. Back to the story, so I, as soon as I had the pregnancy test, I called, asked if I could get in to have a blood test and my, I, <clears throat> sorry, I'm having trouble like getting my thoughts out clearly. So I took the pregnancy test, got excited, went to Walmart, bought some things. Then I went to go get my blood done. Probably should have done that. Not in that order, <laughs> but I went to go get my blood lab done and it was negative. Um, that was pretty crushing because at that point I was pretty positive that I was pregnant. I was just thinking like, oh, you know, those cramps at 12 days past ovulation was probably implantation and my faint positive was probably faint that far into my cycle because I implanted late and it just all started making sense my period still wasn't there you know it just made sense and so when I got the negative I was really 
it was just really hard. But the thing is, is that there are two different types of blood tests that you get when you are testing for pregnancy. One where they tell you exactly what number you have, like they test for your number. And the other one is where the hospital has a set number and they are basically, if you're under that set number, you're not pregnant. If you're over, you are. So they don't tell you what your exact number is. It's a yes or a no. And for the hospital, that number is 25. So if my HCG is below 25, they, it's just negative. And the test doesn't tell you what your number is. I tried to ask and she was like, no, it just says negative, not pregnant. And so there's a part of me that wonders if maybe my HCG was between somewhere between zero and 25. I don't really know. I can only speculate. At that point, I was really disappointed. I had taken a couple of more tests. I had negatives, but one of my other first responses also had a faint line. And the thing is, is that before I took the test, I already noticed a gray line down the test where the test line, not the control line was. And so, when I looked at it, I was just like, oh, well maybe, you know, maybe they were false, maybe I just had a bad batch. And I could still, after I used it, kind of see a faint line. But I had taken another one a few days later and it was the same thing. Before I took it, I could see a line, but after I took it, I couldn't see the line anymore. So, uh, and, Keep in mind, these lines are so, so faint. The ones I'm talking to, they're like mega squinters, you know, the ones that you really, really, really have to look at. The first one, um, you, it's definitely there. Like I could send pictures to my friends and they could see it. The second one, it was a lot harder to see, but even now, like I can go and look at the tests and I could still see the line. Basically, uh, the day that I took the test, the first test, that was Wednesday of last week. Right now it is Tuesday of the following week and I still don't have a period. I am like 18 days past ovulation at this point. I have taken a bunch of pregnancy tests. They are all negative. I have been so anxiously awaiting my period to get here so that I could just move on so that I can go to the doctors, have my ultrasound, and be able to look forward to starting a medicated cycle and hoping that that's what helps us. The last week, I have been really frustrated and down. Yesterday, I woke up and I was still really struggling. I, you know, my period still didn't show. Every day I wake up, I go to the bathroom and I'm like, period. <laughs> Are you here? No, it's not. You know, I still don't have my boob pain. I'm having cramps. It's been like three weeks of cramps or something like that. I don't know. Technically, since I ovulated, I've been cramping a little bit and then they got worse starting at the 12 days past ovulation. And so I'm just tired. Like I feel tired of this. I want to move past it. You know, I'm pretty sure if you have a chemical, a lot of people bleed right when uh, their HCG drops, I think, but I've read a couple of stories where people took a really, really long time to bleed, so I just don't know. I don't really understand what's happening. I'm gonna go ahead and play those clips for you right now so you can see what happened, and then I'll explain a little bit more after you watch the clips. can't be getting excited right now because I can hardly see anything at all and this might not be real but I see something so faint it's like barely there like I don't think anyone else would see this I don't know if I'm am I seeing a light I can't tell it's 
so faint. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is really gonna suck if this isn't real. Oh my gosh. Oh, bad idea wearing makeup. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll update you guys when I figure this out. <laughs> As you can see, I did get really excited. I probably shouldn't have gotten so excited with that faint of a line, but like I said, I really trust or trusted first response tests. I've always dreamt of seeing those two pink lines on one of those tests specifically. Like to me, that's the holy grail. I'm pregnant, pregnant, oh my gosh. The holy grail I'm pregnant moment uh, where you see those pink lines on a first response test and so I just I got really excited it is hard for me not knowing whether or not that was a chemical pregnancy not knowing whether or not I was pregnant this experience is making me second guess my last false pregnancy circumstance just because my physical symptoms are the exact same as they were before the no period symptoms and aside from cramping and then um, a late period but this time I'm way way past as late as I was then I think I was 17 or no 15 days when I started spotting and then 17 days when my period came and I'm I'll I'll put a number somewhere how far past ovulation I am right now but yeah I I kind of wanted to wait till my period came to make this video too but I'm certain that I'm not pregnant I've taken so many pregnancy tests they're negative I'm just waiting for my body to do what it's going to do basically what I wanted to share with you is that I woke up yesterday I was having a hard day I was kind of feeling more internally like I am probably having a chemical and just not knowing for sure it kind of plays mind games with you. I'm not claiming that I am having a chemical because that's something that I don't take lightly and I don't really feel like I have the right to claim a loss if I don't know for sure if I'm experiencing a loss and so my brain is just processing all of this. It's just, it's weird. But yesterday I woke up and I just knew that I had to try to make the most of my day. I got dressed. I tried to work early. My mom called me and she asked if I wanted to go with her to some thrift stores. And even though I was a mess I said yes and I went out with her and I came home and after that I felt a lot better and during the evening time I had to finish some work so I came in and I put some worship music on and the first song that I put on after the first like five words I just instantly started crying because I just felt honestly I just felt very filled by the Holy Spirit I just felt comforted through this experience I think that I've just realized that there's nothing that God can't get me through. That it's okay to hurt and be down and have those weak moments, but I trust that God's able to pull me out of them. And if you are struggling right now, if you're having a really hard time with your fertility, I'm gonna link the song that I listened to below. I just ask that if you made it this far, if you're watching this right now, that you just take a minute, you go to my description and that you listen to the song and that maybe it will encourage you. And really listen to the words, just focus on the lyrics and just kind of see how you feel afterwards. At this point, we are still going to keep trying. We are still going to do a Medicaid cycle once my period finally gets here, whenever that may be. That's all I really have to say about it, I guess. The timing of all of this was hard, but you know, maybe there was a lesson I was supposed to learn from it. Maybe God wanted to prepare me for future disappointment because I have had really high hopes that medicated cycles will work for us um, fairly quickly. And 
maybe there's a chance that they're not going to and God needed to kind of bring me back down to earth and just remind me that no matter what happens, I really need to trust him and be okay. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. I am still sad, but I'm okay. So this video is not an easy one to make. I feel like it's been a struggle to get words out. And the thing is, is yesterday evening and this morning, I really felt okay, but re-talking about it all is just, it's not the easiest thing to just kind of give a play-by-play -play of. So if I seem really down, that's because talking about it is hard. This whole situation was hard, but I promise that I am okay. Um, Anthony's doing okay too. Our next video will actually be a Q&A about my husband's perspective on our infertility. A lot of people ask some really good questions, so we'll dive into that in our next video. And then hopefully after that, the next video will be my baseline ultrasound. I'm not really sure at this point with how long my period is taking to get here. I should mention, I talked to my doctor about taking Provera, but she wants me to wait two more weeks and see what happens. So I'm just going to follow her advice and see what happens. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for supporting me and caring. If you've experienced this, if you feel comfortable sharing your story with me, then I would appreciate it. Um, you can comment below or you can find me on Instagram and shoot me a DM. Or even just your opinion on what you think happened in my case based off of what you've heard. I know that you can't diagnose me through a camera, but if you've experienced something like this or exactly like this and maybe it was just a false positive, I don't know. It just, I don't want to have had a chemical or be having a chemical just because that makes me really sad. If the videos that are coming up that I mentioned sound interesting to you, then don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.